Welcome to another video guys. We're down here at Broomstick Factory again. Um, just come past here. I'll let Cheech and Chong have a dig at this, uh, that EL that I took out uh, rally bashing like a week or so ago, probably two weeks ago now. Um, obviously, I killed the motor, so uh, Cheech and Chong have grabbed some stuff out of the front. Looks like they've taken like front brake discs and wheel bearings and things like that. Just little bits and pieces. I don't, I don't really care. This thing just... As far as I was concerned, it can go off to scrap. I wanted a couple little bits off the out of the engine bay um, that would potentially work in my other AU, but other than that, she's going to scrap it out broomstick and asked him if he needed any parts. He wants a diff center. Oh, what ratio are the auto centers? Do you know? Uh, three two. Three two. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's shit. But it's I don't want the gears. I just want the center. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So and she's already welded. So yeah. good to go. Good to go, mate. Yeah. So yeah, he wants the world of diff center out of it, which yeah, she's going to scrap anyway. So absolutely no skin off my chest. We're gonna get this thing off to scrap. Um, then I'm probably, might be picking up one of the other cars and bringing them out here. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but I need to get the 350Z back to the house um, as well at some point ASAP. But the main project today is working on the Baraptor. We're gonna try and do something with the exhaust on it. Uh, get the tire pumped up, you know, just bits and pieces on that thing to get it uh, ready to rip. We might be taking it out on uh, Saturday, so we'll see how that goes. But um, it won't necessarily be like wheeling, wheeling, but uh, mate's got a big property. I uh, want to go out there and have a look. And basically, we're intending to do another rally bash day like we did with this one. Um, so I want to go check it out and see if we can create a track. And I don't know, it should be a good time regardless. All right, you got your bits? Yeah, got the bits. Got your bits? Got any bits, thank you. All right, I'm going to take this off to scrap, and then right. we'll do barra things. Yeah, I'll do a bit of a tie-up. Bar Baraptor things. We'll get her out. Yeah. Right, want to do something exhausting, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah, <laughs> good. All right, we'll get this thing off to scrap, and uh, get to work on the Baraptor. Do you want to take out take a photo? You can take a photo, I just don't want to. That's my thumbnail right there. Um, just being pulled over by the boys in blue. I wasn't doing anything wrong at all. It's just a breath test. It's been a long time since I've ever been pulled over for a breath test. So um, the boys, absolute legends. They know all about the drift park and everything that's going on down there and they really support it, which is definitely super duper rad. Um, they just told me that my uh, Tires poke out a little bit. It's always scary when you get pulled over and the cops like, I know who you are, you don't need to get your license out. I was like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? And he's like, yeah, we know about the drift park and stuff. So I think that is beyond rad. Always good to get pulled over. And like, this is like maybe the third time I've ever been pulled over in Queensland. So it is quite funny. And it just happens to be in the same spot. I was pulled over one time for um, when I got rear-ended. So yeah, thank the boys. So bloody legend so um yeah i don't know i wasn't doing anything wrong i guess other than a little bit of tire poke so let me go how's this place so sketchy like i'm definitely gonna get a puncher here on my trailer oh well scrap this car hopefully not get a puncher and then get onto some Baraptor stuff. Actually, I might go pick up 350Z. We'll see how things go. Very interesting that uh, interaction with the police officer. He was actually really good blokes and um, just super rad to hear that, uh, which I don't know if I mentioned just before when I was talking about it, but they actually spoke to their commander um, and made sure that they spoke to council as well to make them aware that Archie uh, needs to stay. So just hearing that, you know, especially from a highway patrol, you know, a lot of car guys see as the enemy. And you know what? There's good guys and there's bad guys when it comes to that stuff. Um, and you know, I even had a chat to them about, you know, people being silly on their way out. And they're like, because of the last here and there, they'll come and hang out like down the road from Archie. And they'll literally only hassle you if you're being a fucking idiot. Like if you are flying down the road doing a burnout or anything stupid that's when they'll get you if you're just cruising out and your car's a bit low they don't care you know what i mean like they know that you've come to the right place to do the right thing and they're actually being really fair with it so 
Um, just keep that in mind next time you're at the drift park. Cruise out, you know, do as you should, you know. A lot of our cars aren't technically legal or whatever, you know, because of a welded diff or whatever. You know, it, it's not hard for, you know, potentially for an officer to turn a blind eye to something like that if you're driving sensibly and you've been out to the track to do the right thing. So just keep that in mind. We'll get this car scrapped off and, um, yeah, go get Baraptor stuff done after some breakfast at Little Ship Cafe. Alright guys, back here at Broomstick, um, he had another car here that I've been telling him I'll help him get rid of for quite a while and because I didn't take my license to the scrap place, I couldn't get paid for my scrap so went home, got my wallet, um, I'm going to get rid of this BA Falcon here and uh, just been sitting here forever. Oh, it has been for a yeah. while now, hasn't it? That's the one for Trent's motor and box came out of, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, we'll get this jacked up and chucked on the uh, back of the Raptor and then I'll go back to the scrap joint. Actually takes quite a while at scrap place. It's waiting there for quite some time. But then once we get that, we're gonna get, go to Little Ship and then get to work on the Baraptor. Another load for uh, Fink & Co towing. Yeah, Fink & Co. Fink & Co. Co scrap towing. Coming to a town near you. And then, and then we'll finally get onto Baraptor. Yeah, I'll pull it out now. All right, sweet as. All right, I finally made it back here to Broomstick. Dumped two cars off. Uh, had a meeting down at the track. I've got another meeting later this afternoon somewhere else about something else. So I'll let you uh, just mind run wild with that. Um, just got here, nearly missed the driveway at Broomsticks, had to do a bit of an evasive manoeuvre. Um, you've been playing. Yeah, just cut the section out. Um, sort of. You know what I was thinking? What's that? Like, I wouldn't be mad if we welded stuff to here to hold the exhaust. Yeah, yeah. No, it's <laughs> just working out the path and the bend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I wish the gas tanks they're in a bastard of a spot. Just for this thing. Situation, yes. Oh, not really. then again, you just come, the, the pipes. It's not a fix. While it's NA, there's enough. It's sort of. Oh, you're going to go like that? Sort of. Oh, yeah. And just cut away a bit of that gas tank shield, Chibi. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't even really have to. It's just the. That's too short, so I need something a bit. Ah, just make it longer. Lovely. Just not make it longer, just jam it through there, mate. You're not trying hard enough. <laughs> Bit of an adjustment tool. So, well, think fab, mate. This is, uh, I'm opening up a shop soon. You just don't want to get work done. There. Oh, there we go. Dude, that's literally lined up. Weld it on, go yeah, on. Weld it on. Couple little gaps. She's on. Little bird. That's it. That actually, oh that's, that's not, not bad, bad at all. <laughs> but to be fair, I don't think I'm going anywhere near it with well for the most part. <laughs> I'm uh, not a welder, guys. Yeah. All right, like just yeah. make that very, very apparent. My head is much bigger holy, than Jamie's. Holy fuck! Oh, I'm blind. You're blind as a bat, dude. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to look. How the fuck do you do the driving you do with these eyes, dude? How, how do you bloody see through these goggles? <laughs> Holy Jesus. You can't until you just glare uh, and then you can yeah, see through. Yeah, no, nah, you can't. Oh, it help if I was, uh, Getting the bit I was meant to. I had to go out here. Look, I don't want you to look at it. Here's a look. Here's a 
Okay. Here's a go. This thing's oh. bastard. Wait, Chen, do you want to turn it up to like 16? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, let someone that knows how to weld get in there. My welding is subpar. We best. have to do it for the video. And it's dirty. It, oi, it's dirty. Uh, so dirty. Not the nicest stuff there. Oh, wow. Where it's coming out, it's interesting. Cool. We'll make it work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet, that's. Well, that was the spot where to make the least hole, I guess. Yep. Well, while he's doing that. That's roughly two shuckers, like. Two shuckers. Two shuckers. And that's going to take out the top, isn't it? No. You gotta add that piece on there as well. So oh, half that's a what I did. Yeah, so yeah. we need more than that much shuck. We need more than two shuckers. We need about three shuckers length to yeah. That's an accurate measurement. Yeah. That's better than whatever the Americans add with inches and. What are they like cheeseburgers per? No, nah, they. What do they use? We use metric. They use the imperial. Imperial. Oh, yeah. this is much better than imperial. Yeah. Um, let's find some. Stuff that's longer, maybe a broomstick. <laughs> Here's a big one. I don't want to smash the back window. Oh, it's funny. Oh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. And then. There we go. Need some room. Alright. Okay, so it's all needs to go there. Room for the exhaust. Fitment. Fitment. Beautiful. Don't say hope I don't think do it. Don't say that I don't do things right, because that's right. <laughs> Smith. I don't know what anyone's worried about. We get a nice little pipe up and a little flapper. Right, this thing's gonna be beautiful. What a car. Cars like this you don't care about are the best cars. I'm awfully a big fan of your brown interior you have there, sir. Yeah, look. You don't want to be wearing nice clothes in it. No. I'm sure that'll work then. <laughs> yeah, don't be wearing your uh, fancy Jordans around here, buddy. Wrong place. <laughs> That's not going nowhere. No mate, she's solid. Not going nowhere. She's solid though. Nothing's on fire inside. Nah, mint. Well, look. <laughs> Let's legit look on. <laughs> she's on. She's on. She's on. Alright, that's our solution so far. So far. So far. Look, so we find a little bit. start, more. we'll get a little bit of extra when yep. we get our flapper. Yep. Yeah, it will come to three inches. But yeah. I'll, I'll suss something out. We'll get it up here. Five it needs to come higher. Yeah. Because unless we. All right. So that is our pretty much nearly finished product. We're going to go a bit higher with it and add a stack to it. Probably do a bit more welding around here, but we're out of weld. But check this out. It actually. I welded through dirt and through the paint, and still got a super strong weld on there. So much so that it completely bends the uh, rear firewall. Uh, so yeah, give her a fire up in a sec and see what she sounds like. But more than anything, I know that we're not gonna get mud stuck in the exhaust anymore. And we've pulled it up as high as we can. So she's tucked up pretty well underneath the car as well. I think we're gonna uh, do a bumper trim as well today and get the bumper better attached. Um, I still haven't 
found bigger Hilux spaces yet, but to be fair, I haven't looked either. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't. I've been meaning to, because I think they're 25 mil spaces and you can go up to like a 35 or even, if I can find 50s, I'll jam 50s in there and get the front of this nice and high. So, well, more so my issue is the tire jamming up on the chassis rail. So I want to stop that from happening and then we'll get a lot further in this car. All right, we'll do first fire up and see what she sounds like. All right, for sure. All right here, you grab hold of that. I'll, uh, Headlights are on. <laughs> Did you just see the dirt that? That is perfect. You gotta love that it. That is though. lovely. That's that's not bad at all. That's not even really that loud, is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's coming out of it. Bloody happy with that. Just gonna sound a bit mean around on the tracks, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what that shit I is. I thought it would be a... Well, it's sure. got a muffler right there. Yeah. But that's a muffler, and it's got another muffler as well. Yeah, the cat. Yeah. yeah so. Once we go turbo, oh, it's going to be heat. Should be right straight here. pipe. Yeah, yeah. No, just, we'll just redo that and straight pipe. A lot nicer. We're just bit. talking off camera then about running a once the turbo's on, like a nice twin pipe setup and be able to shoot flames up and a lot nicer than this. Yeah, look, this is just a, just for now. We just use what we had. Yeah, not well, not even what. Yeah, what, no, we it, didn't even really have it. We just made no, it. and that's like the last of our the welding. Yeah, we like literally no wire. Nothing. Last of the wire. <laughs> so, yeah, that's good. Sweet. Well, that's a good start. Have I? Sw I haven't swindled the uh, tub out of him yet, have I? No, but he's definitely got his interest on the VCT. Oh, we might be doing deals. So I've got a VCT AU motor in a car. I've got a whole car there, but I really want his tub. He's got an AU tub over there, which I'd love to put on this. And then cut out the guards and stuff with big tires actually, to add weight. It's actually a B8. Is it a B8? It's a B8. Oh, beauty. B8 for the B8. I wonder what's going to happen here, though. We'll, <laughs> we'll make just it have to we'll cut just, it out. We'll section it. <laughs> <laughs> Not section it, yeah. Well, there won't be anything replacing it. It'll just be cut a big hole where the exhaust comes through. Yeah, just cut it out. That's perfect. Because that'll make it so much easier to mount a fuel cell if we have to go fuel cell instead of oh, tank. Yeah. And it'll keep it a little bit cleaner. And oh. leaving it open too. Well, nah, because the wheels will stick out past the guards. Yeah, but it won't be as bad. Oh, I won't be shooting it into the back of our heads necessarily. So, <laughs> no. that's good. Wifey's here. Let's uh, see what she thinks. My camera. <laughs> what just happened? My tooth fell out. Wait, your tooth Show me. Just... Show me. <gasps> it fell that, out on the, the bottom one. Feet. Did you lose it? You still yeah. got it? Mum has it. Oh my god, her tooth fell out. She was riding past the school she's like, my tooth just fell out. And I was like, oh crap. Show me, show me, show me. Oh wow. Yeah. Don't yeah. Water anything. Awesome. Hey T, tell me what you think. None. Have a look. No idea. Right. Ready? Bro, that's freaking sick. <laughs> tell, tell the camera what you do. What, what was that? A no. Okay, yeah, hey. that's what we're gonna do a flap. No, we've got a flat tire. I had a paddy basher once, I had one of those. Yeah. So 
know me and Jamie just a little improv photo shoot the two four doors right so I'm gonna get on to cutting the front bar now so I want to cut this front bar and basically work out where we're gonna run our bash plate um, so we can get a bit more clearance if you remember the video of us wheeling it it was definitely an issue oh dude we got clearance now look at that thing Tell you what, nice big bash plate under the front of this thing and it's gonna be a freaking weapon. That just looks so cool. Dude, that looks so cool. It looks so much better. Oh man. Dude, a bash plate under the front of this thing and it's gonna be so much more like. Oh yeah. It's gonna look good, eh? <laughs> looks heaps better like back now. Yeah. Dude, it's high. All right, well that'll do for this little episode of Baraptor today not a whole lot done on it but nonetheless more about making plans here today because we really do need to get stuff done on it um, I'm taking it out I think for a test in a few days time um, so with it between now and then I really want to do something about the front suspension to stop it jamming up so I can potentially do some decent jumps with it and uh, yeah we're gonna do some suspension swapping around with another car we have here for softer rear suspension so we can get it flexing and um, yeah, it's gonna be all good. All right, so we're back home now. Uh, we went to a meeting. Meeting was very good and positive. Hopefully I'll be able to let you guys know more about that in the future. Um, but got some stuff here. Wife, it was nice enough to open this one up before we got home. So we know what this is, which I'm pretty pumped on. It's the um, water uh, steam pipes for the S13 build. So this will... Uh, help my situation out with the S13 build, something we definitely were waiting on and needed. And then this huge package here is from GK Tech. So I'm gonna rip this open now and get stuck into it and see exactly what we've got. I know that we've got a lot of damage on the 350Z at the moment. So a lot of this has to do with that. We'll get it uh, ripped open and uh, show you guys what we've got. All right, this is something I completely forgot I was getting and I'm really freaking excited about. It's a brand new product from GK Tech. We have 370Z um, hard pipe kit, which is absolutely sick. So comes all wrapped and ready to go. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be pulling all of this out here, but that would be all of my hard pipe kit. I'll have to show you guys when we actually install it, which I want to do ASAP. Oh, it comes with filters and everything. That is sick. So there is a full GK Tech hard pipe kit in here. This is like a brand spanking new product. Oh yeah, there's my hard pipes there. That's right. So, all right. That's probably going to get put on tomorrow. I'm going to see, I'm not sure if when you put, yeah, I need to check if when you put hard pipes on a 370Z, if they need to be tuned straight away. Um, but then on top of that, we've got um, some goodies to fix to help fix my 350Z. Um, this is uh, just a standard piece. Mine broke, put it over here, but mine broke somewhere here. And this has got the brand new GK Tech solid bushing kit um, put in it as well. Um, so I'm going to be able to use this to replace mine and get my gears working again. But on top of also them having this, um, it also obviously has the brand new solid bushes in there, which apparently you get heaps better shifter feel out of. So that's going to be fun. I got custom, uh, lines made up for the S13. So this is the, uh, I guess, what would you call it? The, uh, Nakamura pink. Um, cables. Uh, I got them to make me up some custom length ones for my S13 to match with the rear brake lines. So all the back of the car is going to basically have all pink stuff. So this is really cool and I can't thank the guys at GK Tech enough for doing these custom for me. Um, you know, with any of the handbrake cables or brake cables or any of that stuff, always hit them up directly guys because they can do custom sizes, custom length, custom fittings and everything to suit uh, what you need so definitely hit them up. They're all hell braided lines. So they're all really good quality stuff um, That they do in-house at GK Tech um, What else do I have? That was another handbrake line. Oh, that's a 350Z handbrake line to replace the one I broke 
and another spare um, lower control arm. So yeah, I'm pumped. I'm um, going to be able to use a lot of these parts as well as the uh, tail shaft that I'm about to buy, which is only 100 bucks, luckily, for the 350Z and get the 350 going again as well as the 370Z copying that hard pipe kit and we are going to be getting 370Z tuned very soon um, from Lep Lab, so he can tune 370Z stuff now he's invited me out there to get a tune so um, I'll let him know that this piping kit's here now so he can uh, look into getting that done ASAP my kids are going berserk in the background so I'm going to wrap it up check out the store guys the out new Outrun stickers are in fact 100% now in stock um, check it out, otherwise we've got all our shibby stuff and everything at my store, lukefink.com. Most of all guys, stay positive, positive, and I'll see you in tomorrow's blog. Peace out, bye.